Hi everyone, welcome to Paracord Bracelet Tutorial. Today we are going to learn to make this particular Paracord Bracelet with the materials that your form teacher has given you yesterday. Okay, these are the materials that you need before we start our Paracord activity. The Paracord, the clip, a ruler, a pair of scissors, as well as a lighter. Now for these two, we don't really need them now, so we're going to put them aside. And we're just going to put the ruler just a little bit further. Now to begin, we need to ensure that we have our cord. So this is called a paracord and it comes in a certain length. You will notice that your paracords have an, an edge, an end, which actually can be pulled straight so that you can straighten the cord to make sure that there are no tangles. So do that first before we start with our project. Now once we've already straightened our paracord, you will find that one end actually creates a bite, which is a loop, as well as the two ends, which are free. And these are going to be the ends that you're going to be working with when we're going to create our paracord bracelet. So the first step is, put the looped end of the rope into the hole of the clip. Take two of your fingers, pull through the rest of the cord such that the ends or the tail comes through that loop. And then pull slowly and neaten it such that you will see that one side of the clip looks like this. Turn it over, it forms a U. Now if you find that the tail of the rope is not equal to each other, all you can do is, you have to loosen that part, make sure that you line up the tail together and just give it a little pull such that it straight, straightens itself out. The next step is to now take the other clip and put it into the clip that you have looped and take the other end of the rope and put it through this hole. Like so. And then pull it through slowly to make sure that they don't tangle themselves up. Not all the way to the end but stop just before it comes through to the end so you can see that from the end that we've actually tied it actually forms two straight lines to the other side of the clip and the rest of the paracord just runs through like so. Now, laying your paracord flat on the table or on the floor, we are now going to measure how long our paracord is going to be. And how we're going to do that is that we're actually going to unclip our paracord like so. And then we are going to now measure. So I'm going to put one end of the paracord just here at the zero or at the end of my ruler which is 15 centimeters and then I am going to just straighten it a little bit and then notice that at the end of my ruler it will actually say 0 to 15 so just about there I'm just going to pull the clip with the teeth to make sure that it reaches just down here. So I'm going to do it very gently. I'm going to push it with my two fingers such that it reaches just there. Now this is going to give us the length that we are going to be able to tie our paracord until the paracord actually covers the entire length of our paracord bracelet. We are now going to start to do our first knot for the paracord weave. 
we're going to remove the ruler and we're going to move our paracord this way such that the teeth are away from you and the tight end is actually closer to you. You will notice that if I move this closer to me, I would see that there are two different ends that is separated by the clip in the middle. So now we're going to make our first knot, okay? So we're going to take the left hand side, we're going to create the letter C. Now make sure you hold on to this because you don't want it to be moving up and down while you're trying to um, make the first knot. I'm going to hold it down that way and I'm going to let the tail run just beside me. And I'm going to take the other side, the right hand side, and I'm going to make the same thing. I'm going to take the end, I'm going to make a D around this, over the left hand side, and take this end and lift up my paracord, like so, and put it underneath the entire rope and I'm going to pull it through the loop on the other side. Now, if you pull this slowly, you will realize that it actually forms something like a heart shape. This way. And all you have to do now is to pull it slowly such that it will create a knot, your first knot around the paracord. And it looks like this. Okay, so you will notice that at the back, it looks like as if there's a little bit of a gap. So we're going to neaten this a little bit. And how we're going to do that is we're going to push using our thumb and then we're going to push this up just a little bit. I'm going to look at the back. I'm just going to pull it just a little bit so that the gaps become smaller. Now it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you see that this side forms the same line as the two that is connected to your clip below. Okay, it's the same. So it's one, two, three. And then you can lay it down while you pull and ensure that it is still tight. So this is still a straight line. Okay, and then now that is the first knot. Now, to make the second knot, we are now going to take this end and create a reverse C. Take this one, go over the reverse C, go underneath the clip, and we're going to go under the other side, like so, and then we're going to pull it through. And you can see that it actually forms another straight line on the opposite side. So I'm going to neaten this just a little bit like how I did it just now. I'm going to use my thumb to make sure that there's no gap. Okay, I'm going to put it together and it's going to form something like this. So we started with one, two and three on the right side and now we have one, two and three on the left. Now don't worry about turning and looking at the back. It is going to look messy so don't worry, we actually focus with what we see in front. Okay? Step number three, we're going to repeat what we did just now but now we go over to the left side. So we see one, two, three. And there is a one straight line here. So we're going to form a C around. Take the other side and we're going to just cross over the top. And then we are going to go underneath these two. And then we're going to come off the other side. Then you will see that it forms that particular shape and you can pull it slowly. 
once you see that the shape is like that you know that you got the knot right and you can pull it slowly okay again we are going to adjust the knot and now you would see that the line is now on the opposite side so we have one on the right one on the left and another one on the right so where we're going to go now we want to make sure that this knot appears on this side so from here we're going to make an inverted C over over under and around and we're going to pull it Okay. The only way to neaten it is to be very patient and ensure that we make it as accurately as possible. It is now on this side, so we're going to make, create our C from there. Now take your time to actually neaten the knot because if you strive for accuracy, your paracord bracelet is going to look pretty nice. Okay, so we're going to repeat the steps until we reach the end here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to carry on doing it. You can slow down the video if you need to repeat. Just remember they always alternate each other or they always appear on the other side. Just remember, if you see a straight line here, you create the C from there. So turn, take the right side, over, under, below and up. Okay. Be very patient. It is okay to make mistakes. You get there. Okay, so straight one. Make a C, over, over, under, and out. So we're going to repeat this until we reach, we reach the end. Right. So now we've come to the end of the paracord bracelet and we've got these two annoying extras right so what you can do is this is where you need to be very careful because you need to use your scissors and your lighter so I'm just going to lay it down for a bit and I am going to teach you how to end off the paracord bracelet before it's complete okay so we have these two ends that probably would end um, on the inside so this is actually the inside of your bracelet where if you are going to clip it together it is going to appear on the outside so what we're going to do is that we don't want to have any of these things showing out so we are going to end the knot on the inside of the bracelet so this is what we're going to do since this part is actually on the inside we can actually cut this part off and we can burn it such that it stops just right there so if you're going to be using a scissors just be careful that you actually cut just that part over there okay and for the other side we are going to make sure that it ends up on the same side of the bracelet so that it ends off neatly okay so I'm going to show this to you very very slowly but before we do that we are going to have to loosen a little bit of the knot because we're going to have to take this particular end and slot it in here so what we're going to do is that we're actually going to loosen the knot just a little bit so that we can create space for this knot to go underneath here so i'm just going to loosen this a little bit just a little bit can you see there's a little bit of a hole, right? So I'm just going to me have opened that just a little bit too much. Pull this a little bit. And I am going to take this end. And I'm just going to slot it right here. 
I'm going to pull it through. So you would see then that when I tighten it by pulling both, that it is actually not too bad looking. Right? Now for this one, for the other end, so we've finished this end. So once we've finished this end, we are going to be able to cut this off. Okay, and we're going to be able to use a lighter and we're going to seal off the end. But what happens to the other side? Right? So the other side, you notice that we could actually put it on this side so that it covers this empty end, right? So how are we going to do that? What we're going to do is we're going to then loosen this part bring it closer to you. Okay? And we're going to take this particular end and we're going to cross it underneath. Okay? A bit stubborn there, sorry. Okay, and then once it passes through the hole, you can actually pull it. And then you can pull both together to make sure that it is secure. So now you can see that if we look at the top of the bracelet, this is actually quite neat. And then if we turn it around, this part is also quite neat. So what I need you to do is to ensure that you actually tighten all that. Test it first. Flip it together. Okay. And imagine that you've already cut off the ends. So it's going to look quite neat. Okay. Now I'm going to just show you one side on how we can burn it off and then you can do the other side. Okay. So again, before I burn it off, because this is the end of the project, right? So you need to make sure that everything is neat. So pull it tight. Make sure it's secure. Okay. This is the top view. So we're going to burn off this end and we're going to burn off this end. But I'm just going to show you one side. So I'm going to show you only on this side. So I'm going to take my scissors. Okay. And I'm going to cut off this particular area. I'll try and get you a better view. This particular area. Now make sure when you use your scissors, you don't cut off any extra fabric. Okay, so uh, any extra rope, sorry. And then just going to cut it off. Okay, and it's going to look like that. Now, if we leave it like that, it's going to look pretty unsightly. So, that's where you're going to take your lighter. Okay, careful. Make sure you point it away. And you're going to burn it off. And it will soften because the rope is actually made of glue. Okay, don't touch it straight away. Okay. And it should finish off like that. That's one side. We're now going to cut off that end before we finish our paracord bracelet. So just be careful when you're actually cutting it off. Okay, can you see that there's frayed ends here? So that's how we're going to close it together so that it doesn't come apart. So we're just going to take our lighter, put it away from you. Okay, and we're just going to melt down the corners. Okay, make sure you just burn the end of it. Touch it only after a few seconds, alright? Don't touch it straight away because it might still be hot. Okay, now, once that's done, the paracord bracelet is complete. Good job.